In life, there are a few moments that are more profound than those that cause us to collectively pause and reflect. It is in these moments that we greatly display our fear, strength, indifference, and humanity. The truth is, we are always on the verge of this, and yet veiled from it by the trance of our daily routines. Normally, we wake up and go about our schedules according to the plans we have accepted as reality. Sometimes these plans are driven by the promise and plight of who we hope to become. And other times, they are driven by defeat. This simple truth governs our existence until something happens that forces us to awaken from our slumber and see things differently. The question is, when these rare moments occur, what becomes your reality? Do you panic and allow fear to navigate your decisions? Or does your humanity take over and urge you to move in kindness and strength? The indifferent will smirk at these choices and consider them pointless distractions for the unenlightened. But make no mistake, the trajectory of our future selves are clearly defined by the actions rendered in these moments. I'm aware that during adverse times, panicking may seem to be the easier choice, as it does not involve critical thought beyond blame and despair. Nevertheless, the opportunity does exist to make different choices. And those choices are the ones you are faced with, not only in this moment, but in every moment. The difference is, within the confines of our daily routines, we are rarely forced into a state of quiet reflection for any substantial amount of time. And for anyone that understands the power of having time to think, then act, they also understand the gravity of this moment. Do not fall prey to the peddling of fear, as it only benefits the peddler. Instead, study the past, understand your present reality, and plot your future. Know that you are not alone in whatever overwhelming sentiment you feel, and that it is okay to feel. Those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. I learned these words by philosopher George Santayana in grade school, and they have resurfaced in my mind many times in my life, mostly when things were difficult, but always reminding me of this. When life is seemingly at its worst, it is best to pause and remember who you are. I'm not 
You want me to be 